Hunting it, playing physical, and then a nice backhand clear by Alberts. Not being an analyst, I didn't want to say anything, but I'm thinking, man, you better get that puck if you go all the way <laughs> to the corner, because now it's five on two if they come out with it, or at least four on two. Connolly, totally. Look how close they are as they set up in the 64-foot offensive zone. So much room out high. Connolly's one-timer scores. I think Roy might have tipped it. Jack, in my mind, the most effective five-on-threes are when you transfer the puck from goal line back out to the tops of the circles. Even if you don't set up for the one-timer initially, it forces the defense to have to move, they have to rotate, they have to get down closer to the crease, and it opens up the guys on the tops of the circles, and this one-timer is gonna be successful. Conley at top of the circle, Derek Roy in front of the net, nice feed from a Finnegan off from down on the goal line, and as the Bruins try to be aggressive along the goal line, it opens up that simple little passing lane. Down to the goal line, back out. Go across, back across, down to the goal line, back out. That kind of puck movement, I think, is the most effective five on three. And when you have skill level like the Sabres have, 